You might have heard that the phrase, do not be afraid, is written in the Bible 365 times. Here's a meme right here. One for every day of the year. It's comforting. It's a nice idea. It's a great sentiment. And do not be afraid, written 365 times. It's a complete lie. It's made up. It's fugazi, mumbo jumbo, false, spurious. It's one of those things that sound good that people like to toss back and forth, but it's not in the Bible 365 times, not even close. I mean, I like the idea, right? But do not be afraid, one for each day of the year, but it's not there. And why do we need obviously false statements to make us feel good? All you have to do is jump on the incredible amount of free resources online and you'll see it's not there. There's Bible Hub, Bible Gateway, eSword. And if you do a simple search, you'll find Be Not Afraid is only listed about 70 times, which is 295 times less than 365. Just doing the math for you. So maybe be not afraid, it's supposed to be modified. Maybe this is referring to just the word afraid and be not afraid is simply implied. Nope. Afraid is only in the Bible about 200 to 210 times, depending on translation. If you do a search on fear, that's in there about 330-ish times. But that's fear mentioned in all types of ways, both good and bad. Yeah, there are the few mentions of fear not and fear the Lord. But there's also a lot of fear describing biblical characters, emotional states, you know, etc. So that doesn't work. So flipping back, what if we collect all the verses about be not afraid and fear not and cast your troubles and anxieties, stuff like that. Now that list isn't bad. There's about 145 verses throughout the Protestant Bible that are about that sort of thing. But that's still far, far short of 365 times. So why the lie? Why do we need it mentioned 365 times, one for each day of the year? I mean, the Hebraic people and early Greeks didn't even recognize 365 days in their own calendars. So if we're going by the 365 times one for each day of the year, it's rather revealing that we think that 365 verses about be not afraid was put in there for a calendar that didn't even exist at the time. It's kind of arrogant on our part when you think about it. Now, all this aside, look. We are not supposed to be fearful. For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but rather of power, love, and of a sound mind. That's 2 Timothy 1.7. And there's no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. And that's 1 John 4.18. So no, we aren't supposed to live lives of fear, but that doesn't mean we have to straight up lie and say things like, be not afraid as mentioned 365 times, one for each day of the year when it's easily disprovable by anyone with a smartphone and two seconds to spare. Fact is, we don't need 365 reminders. We aren't supposed to be afraid. All we need is to be who God says we actually are and move from there. That's it. We need to step into the reality of who God says we are, children of God that bear the DNA of our creator. We don't need cute sayings. We need to just step up and be who God says we are. The problem is, for some reason, and this is going to hurt, our identities and who we are supposed to be are so weak, we have to make up stuff that isn't there to encourage ourselves. How about we just become who God says we can be? Maybe that means we actually dive deep into the wonder and mystery of Jesus and what he reveals is possible in those who are in him. You know, the whole seated in Christ in heavenly places and as he is, so are we in this world thing. We don't need cute sayings. We need to realize that we are who God says we are and move from there and change the world. God bless. See you soon.